Okay, Danielle, tell me about this Model P3 test instrument. Well, Greg, the P3 is a lightweight, portable strain indicator. How many channels uh, of data can you take with this instrument? You can take anywhere from one up to four channels of strain gauge related data. And what type of data can you read with it? Well, um, if you're talking about strain gauge based inputs, you're talking about quarter, half, or full bridge circuits. And um, do you need to do external bridge completion if you're bringing in like a quarter bridge uh, circuit? That's a good question. The box actually has the bridge completion built into it. So it works very well for making uh, simple connections with strain gauges. Hmm. I don't see any knobs or any adjustments for doing, say, balance or calibration. How is that handled? Well, the system does an auto calibration it's built in, so there are no pots to adjust to zero out the offset. It's all done internal to the box. Hmm. Okay. How's the data stored on this? Well, there are two ways to store the data. You can store it with the memory card that's shown here, or you can use the USB slot that we have on the other side, and that will transmit the data from the box to the PC directly. So it can be connected to a PC while you're taking data, or you can transfer the data afterwards. That's correct. That's okay. correct. I see. I also don't see any power supply. Um, it seems to be able to be standalone completely. Yes. Um, normal operation is battery by default, but you could use the USB power from the PC to drive it, or you can use an external power source to apply it as well. Oh, very good. Um, can you connect up transducers to this? Um, yes, you can. You can either use the standard connection if the transducers are wire-based, but if they have some type of Bendix connector or twist lock connector, there are connections on the side of the unit here that oh, will yeah. allow you to connect your transducers as well. I see. Very good. This is very interesting. Um, we're going to have to look at uh, how you 